So I convinced my traditional Italian grandparents that didn't know what estate planning documents were to sign them. So they signed their powers of attorney, their health care directives, their last wills and testaments. Uh, it's important to know that my grandparents are uh, immigrants from Italy and they didn't have they had very little money. They didn't have a lot of assets. And over uh, the next coming years, we used every one of those documents to make their lives better and more meaningful. We used my grandma's power of attorney to help pay for her care, her health care power of attorney, and POA to manage her aides. Actually, it reminds me when my grandmother was uh, in the ICU and her her lungs were failing. This was this was moving on to the lungs portion of things. And I was there every day and I, uh, the doctors had decided, okay, well, you know, um, the intubator, soon as she's able to, we're able to lower the amount of oxygen that goes into her, at some point we're gonna have to take the, in, the tube out, but you can only take the tube out two times. The third time you have to choose and prior to, you have to choose on that third time if that you want a tracheotomy done. Um, I didn't know what a tracheotomy was at 30, 27 years old, but I knew that I was not going to lose my grandmother. Um, so I, being her successor agent on her healthcare directive, I said, we're going to do it. And uh, I sat there across the bed from her. She had a sheet laid on her chest. And I reached over and I held her hands and I told her, Grandma, you could do this. And they pulled it out once and it didn't work. And they had to shove it back in. And, and the reason that they're doing this is because they don't want to aggravate the, the esophagus every time that they're shoving the tube back in. So um, they did it again and she it didn't work. So... I had chose for them to do the tr the trick. So it because other than that, we were just leaving it up to God's hands, whatever, you know, where it was going to happen was going to happen. And I looked at my grandmother that I have never seen cry. Not once. Um, even when my grandfather passed away, she never shed a tear. Uh, she was the strong woman of the, the family. And I just looked at her and I'm like, Grandma, you could do this. And I held her hands and they took it out and she did it. So 